Yes, Queen! Guess who's back? Yes, it's me, Uncle Nabil, aka Big Bad Billy, and I'm here. I've returned from Australia. The jet lag is gone, and I can say to you that I am feel. I am very feel. I'm feel. I'm very feel. So, I go for five minutes, and then you guys allow this country to fall into absolute disrepair. Huh? Rishi Rishi Rich Sunak, aka Rishi Dog Whistle Sunak, has announced that he wants people to do national service. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Now, here's the thing. I actually quite like the idea. I think national service is quite cool. Um, I am Nigerian by birth, and you know, in, in countries like Nigeria, formerly also countries like Poland, and uh, <clears throat> some other country in the Middle East, you have to do two years of uh, national service in some countries of military service. A lot of the Soviet countries did that too. Overall, it has a good effect on the citizens of countries where these things happen, because people generally from these countries are a lot tougher, uh, a lot more useful in emergencies. So he's proposing that kids can, uh, you know, at a certain age go into um, service at the NHS or, you know, volunteering for firefighting. Or of course, the main thing, the main crux of what he wants people to do, combat training. Now, again, this is a great idea, having like civilians all who are able-bodied have some knowledge of combat training and emergency services. But it's just the fact that it's Sunak that's telling us to do it, that I, that doesn't sit right with me. I think if Rishi say that, hope. Like seriously, and also, isn't it ironic that the, the government that has done the least for the youth is now asking the most for the youth? These are the same people that didn't even want people to have free lunches. They didn't want to give kids who can't eat food. And then you want to come back later and tell those same kids five years later, hey, 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 I see you grew despite being malnourished. Well, here's a grenade and a machine gun. Go get him, tiger. F you, bitch. Shut the f up, bitch. Back the f up. I'll knock the f up you. Come on, man. How do you expect people that you wouldn't even give a sandwich to take a grenade for you? It's insane. It's almost like an abusive relationship that we have with this government. So, and you know very well that Rishi's kids are not going to be joining those. They're, 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 they're probably going to be in the front line of, of, of I, I, I don't know. There's probably some secret apartment, you know, where, where they have like armies, the, the soldiers that only eat caviar, the, the caviar regiment or something. He's not going to have his kids preparing to go to the front line to die for you or me. Like, this whole time that he's been in power, why didn't that come into effect? Why is it that these politicians give us their best ideas just before an election and then these ideas never come to fruition. Have you noticed that? Surely, as a politician, when you're in power, you do amazing stuff. And then when it's time for your re-election or whatever, you just say, Hey, you see all that awesome stuff I was already doing? I'm going to keep doing it. But no, these guys just come out with some left-field ideas as soon as an election is announced. I'm like, yeah, yeah, guys, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, well, if I'm elected, there's going to be free water for everyone and I'm gonna make bread fall from the sky and I'm I'm going to determine who actually killed Tupac um, so that was a f***ing lie I, I'm not buying it uh, in these same elections Jeremy Corbyn is standing alone independent in and of himself my man is going full John Wick do you know how embarrassing it will be if Jeremy wins I mean he probably will given that this constituency is full of vegans and cyclists they're probably gonna get together and like harmonize their votes you know, his, 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 his supporters are so enlightened, they wouldn't even need ballot boxes. They'll just sit down in their loincloths and just meditate and, um, uh, and just vibrate their way, <laughs> their votes into the ballots. Uh, it would be funny though, like how embarrassing. Um, they say that Labour is 20 points up at the moment, but knowing them, they're so good at losing, they'll find a way to make things go and backfire for themselves. It, election period is very depressing for me because right now it's just a question of which billionaires do we want to screw us over? Which old white people do we want to screw us over? The old white people that are using a brown man as their proxy or the super liberal but racist people that don't have any diversity in their representation. Oh, this is going to be fun, people. So, apparently, people are falling sick from tap water. What? Tap water makes you sick? No shit, Sherlock. We've been, I've been telling people for a long time. Why would anybody drink tap water in this? In any country, do not drink tap water. I know in Scotland they claim that their tap water is clean, but look at how they sound. Do they sound like they've not? That, that's clearly a side effect from the tap water. 
Okay. All I'm saying here, yeah, there's a reason why so many athletes refuse to drink tap water. Um, they're not crazy. They're not stupid. There's all kinds of stuff in there. There's all kinds of stuff in the water that's messing you up. All kinds of chemicals and hormones. Now parasites. There has been uh, cryptosporidium in the water supply that uh, an awful lot of people would have caused drunk. That being exposed to the, uh, the microscopic parasite. Stick to drinking water. I mean, we're having a water crisis in the UK. I think that's hilarious. So we're going to have like adverts of like, you know, <laughs> this is Gary here. He has to walk two miles to his local corner shop to buy bottled water. And you just be there with flies and like, oh, please, please, could someone spare me some aqua minerale? <laughs> and of course the great nation of nigeria the government seems hell-bent in turning it into a banana republic or should i call it a plantain republic inflation has now hit record levels being tethered to the dollar we're at what 32 or 33 percent now inflation and of course tinubu uh, our president who <coughs> was elected legally fair and square you know is saying that it, these things are important uh, and we, we you know like basically that there's no other way we know it's hard but there's nothing else we can do these are guys you know nigerian government people in, in, in power in nigeria are still giving private jets are still buying cars for their friends are still being caught living in the lap of luxury while the majority of nigeria starves and it gets worse and worse a country with so much money and power um, I, I don't even joke about this, but I just find it very, very ironic that these are the same, this is the same government that had people arrested for spraying money at weddings. Meanwhile, look at what you're doing to our currency. Recently, we've had some Nigerian students turned away from university here because overnight their savings depreciated. Like, come on, man. Please, hey, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> this is my direct direct message to nigerian politicians how much money do you want to steal aren't you rich enough already ah uh, what, what, what more do you want what more do you at least leave some money for the next generation of politicians to steal if you don't care about nigerians think about that like come on man shit you guys you know what we need to do maybe we need to exchange we need to change positions right we should send all the tory politicians to nigeria to see where they're headed if they continue doing what they're doing and send all the nigerian politicians to england and say look you could have actually achieved this if you just stole a little bit less but yeah long live nigeria man. harry and his part-time black wife uh, megan is that her name i don't even follow these people we had them in nigeria and um <laughs> you know initially they were snubbed but eventually you know they got given the whole hey welcome back welcome to africa treatment from nigerian politicians and then people were offended like some people were like oh why are you even entertaining them they're not in the royal family anymore why would we entertain the royal family like they colonized us what the hell is wrong with you people huh what is wrong with you and then isn't it mad how everybody that does the DNA test magically finds out that they're Nigerian? Every single person. Please, we're a fool. Please, be from Ghana instead. Be from Ghana. We don't want you. We don't want you. Everybody's just... Everybody wants to be Nigerian until it's time to help Nigeria. Okay, so what did Harry do? What? Somebody was like, oh, I feel so sorry for them. You know, sorry for what? The guy has 30-something million in his bank account. They need to leave us alone. Go and live your life quietly. You know, imagine complaining about the lack of privilege you have. Oh, we're not in the royal family anymore. But you can still travel around the world for free and even be paid to make appearances in countries where the people can barely afford to eat. What kind of nonsense is that? My friend, royal family in the backside. Daddy, chill. Anyway, you better roll out the red carpet when I come down, bitch. Shit. Drake has uh, released a song with Sexy Red and uh, in the middle of his verse, the BBL Drizzy B is filtered in. Um, and Drake fans, of course, because, you know, they all share one brain cell. That one, there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. Like, bro, you said you were done with the beef. You said, oh, yeah. I'm. It's like, Drake is like that guy that gets into arguments with people like me in the comment section online and says, oh, anyway, I'm done. And then comes back 12 comments later. Yeah, well, your mum. And then comes back again. Yeah, well, I don't have time for this. And then two hours later, there's still an argument. Drake is clearly upset. He's butthurt. <laughs> BBL Drizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, any other thing that you have. 
and um, like share subscribe click on the bell to get notifications as soon as new videos come i'll be bringing new videos every week